Hard to imagine two, well, respected beauties, actresses of the golden era of Hollywood, having something of a social media spat. But that looks to be the case between these two 80s icons. And as ever, why? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to see you today. Sorry, I've got the giggles already because this particular story really cheered me up, you know? If you uh, sort of recall back to the golden days of television, every decade has a golden days, doesn't it? But if you remember in the 1980s, we really had a lot of wonderful shows like Knott's Landing, Falcon Crest, with the great Jane Wyman. Do you remember her? Angela Channing loved it. Uh, of course, she was running a winery. Never seemed to be doing much work apart from parading up and down wonderful gowns and then of course we had Dallas and Dynasty, Knott's Landing, all that sort of stuff but this time around there seems to be something of a spat with two icons of that era the very beautiful British-born actresses Jane Seymour and Dame Joan Collins. Now Dame Joan as you know I've met on numerous occasions a lot of people say to me what's Joan like? Well as you know she plays these spiky characters on screen and may be called of course at times something of a ferocious character. Personally I've always found Joan to be very near to the characters that she plays. <laughs> But, of course, the other lady, Jane Seymour, famous for my decade, at least, as Dr. Quinn, medicine woman. Always loved the way she had to get a bag in an emergency. Why did she never carry the bag around with her? She's a doctor. But we'll just park it there. What's interesting to note, though, at the recent Oscar party, Joan basically uh, told the media that she was stunned to find that she's possibly one of the only actresses that hasn't had any work done. Now Joan looks absolutely beautiful in the flesh and you know that's really been her calling card hasn't it? She's been a beauty all of her life as has former Bond star Jane Seymour. Now what's happened is a couple of days later Jane's taken to social media and the worldwide media too to point out that she hasn't had any work done and in a very thinly veiled attack which was aimed directly I believe back at Dame Joan she pointed out the fact that it's quite a few actors in fact in Hollywood who simply haven't resorted to the plastic surgeon's knife. Now some people might say this is a great spat and it's about two ladies of a certain vintage having a bit of a fallout but what it's truly done in fact is alert the media to the fact that both ladies are still up running and available for work. In fact Jane has just finished a brand new movie she's also a fashion queen and a wonderful artist too wonderful watercolours and oils let me tell you. Dame Joan battles on in her own imitable way. She recently launched a brand new book called My Unapologetic Life all based on her diaries. Didn't sell as well as previous books but then again a lot of people do know the life of Dame Joan Collins. But now it remains to be seen if these two soap divas will kiss and make up but either way it's worked for both of them after all, if you think back to the Oscars night, it was all focused on Will Smith. And right now, it's refocused on two girls of a vintage year. For that, of course, we definitely salute them. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.